male, female, doesn't matter. So I'm always very upfront and honest when I'm working with my patient about where my hands are going to be going. Okay? So David, my hands are going to go right on your sternum right here. Yep. And also going to be right up here on your chest. Well, I'm not going to be on any breast tissue. Not that. Right? But I will inform females that I'm not going to be on breast tissue. I'm going to be above and to the side of it. Show the position of my hands and describe in detail what I expect them to feel. If you feel pain, let me know. You should be feeling stretching. Um, you may feel your breathing pattern change a little bit with it, and that is to be expected. Be aware of your touch leading up to and following your intervention. I was working with a 14-year-old uh, female one time who was a volleyball player who was having a great time opening up on her right side, right? and a really difficult time opening up on her left. And they worked and worked and worked on shoulder stuff. I said, you know what, her thorax is kitty wampus. Let's start there and just see what happens with the shoulder pain. Brought the right side down, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brought the left side down, right side up a little bit like that and shoulder pain went away. One time I was working with her, mom was in the room, they, which was good. I encourage that when I'm doing those techniques. I finished the technique that I'll show you guys. I continue to talk with the mom because she asked a question and I let my hand stay on the patient and all of a sudden I could just feel the patient just go tense up on me. Completely throwing off everything I just did because my hands did not need to be on her when I'm talking with her mom. So always be thinking about where your hands are at, how you're going to get your hands to that spot, how you're going to pull them back a little bit, okay? Respond with feedback. Always, always, always. You know, you took a good breath in, but I need you to take a little bit of a longer breath in. Let it really fill in, okay? A lot of you are holding your breath when you're exhaling for that test, okay? Make sure that they're getting all that air out. So I'll keep giving them feedback as we're going, and then give them a little response for feedback when, when they're done, all right? So okay, baby, take your shirt off there. Is that okay? Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right, we have to go ahead and lay down. So what side felt more restricted? Any of you remember? Yeah, yeah. left side. Left side had a hard time opening up. Yeah. So when you had your right hand down on his, when you had your hand down on his right chest, yeah. he had to breathe in that left side. Got a little panic. <laughs> Did you feel a little panic? No, but not too consciously. Definitely felt a restriction. Okay, okay. All right, let me have you lay down on your back here. So we need to open up what side now? What's it now? Left side. So hands down on the right side, opening up over here was difficult. Yeah. Okay. So Seen a huge posture difference with this, in, but again, it's more about what's neurologically driven than anything like that. Okay, so if I'm trying to open and expand his left side, which way would I gently glide his sternum to close down to make the other side open up to the right? So I'm going to guide that sternum a little bit down and to the right. Now, some of you may have been a very efficient chest breather. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? So you can open up here beautifully, but you can't open up down here. So we're going to bias and kind of take away a little bit of that, uh, of that ability for him to breathe into his upper chest on the right side. Okay. So if I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my hands. Kind of like this. I'm going to have one hand on your sternum right here. I'm going to have my other right hand kind of just below your clavicle right here. All right? I'm going to have you scoot out towards me just a little bit more. All right. So right hand underneath the clavicle. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a breath in through your nose, then out through your mouth.
He has a difficult time getting here into what side? My hands. My hand goes down. No, be. And I'm taking my other hand and drawing him this way with his upper chest. That should be creating a little bit more of a larger house on his left side. You need more space on your left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So you need more space. So my left hand can be on his. He doesn't feel like you're expanding. So maybe I I'm, I'm sorry. I, I put in a different technique this year. I put in a different technique this year. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring you down a little bit. Okay. Side a little bit there. 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 Right side of the sternum. My left hand is going to help be guiding him into a little bit more flexion. So as he flexes a little bit more, in general, he's going to have a decreased ability to get air in. But it's going to go to the path of least resistance, getting a little bit more air on that right side. Okay. I'm closing down one part of the house to make the other part of the house fill up a little bit. So left hand's going to be drawing up and flexing. Right hand's going to be guiding that sternum down and to the right just slightly. So we're going to do that same breathing technique through the nose, out through the mouth. So Seth, we do it the opposite way for you. So we don't have to use a little bit. Yes. Yes. So as I can feel his body start to creep a little bit, I add a little bit more pressure. <clears throat> At this point, I'm not sticking. He's, I'm allowing him to get a little bit of air in here, <clears throat> but it's definitely biased a little bit more towards one side versus the other. So as he takes that breath in, holding that position as he breathes out, I'm guiding and facilitating his thorax where I want. Switch right hand and left hand. So left hand's thinking pull and rotate uh, with breath in and then with um, breath out, seeing the left hand thinking pull and take that to the other side. Okay? So this is going to be for the kind of left inter uh, interaction. So don't get caught up in the terminology. Think about what we're doing with this house. Think about what we're doing with this house. So now, after a few repetitions, I'm able to get a little bit more aggressive with what I'm doing with my right hand because now he's able to open up that house over here a little bit. Does that make sense? You're not going to build Rome in a day. You have to go through, I'd say, five repetitions, about five breaths with the patients to actually start to get some changes with this one. 
changing learning patterns and I have an increased anxiety is very important. If I was in a corner, <clears throat> if I would feel the overhead lights, maybe have a little ambient light kind of in the side of the room to make sure that everybody can see everything just fine. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to practice this one. <coughs> he is, and, and whatever side you're trying to open up, you know, if you're if your patient, if your cable mate says, I need to open up my right chest wall, I'm going to flip my hands and go kind of. I've heard another person kind of describe it as if you're going to pick up a block of ice, okay, pinch it on one side. Pinch it on the other side, <clears throat> pinch it on one side, pinch it on one side, and then really it's more about my back lifting up the episode. Whatever the patient gives you, take it. If you have to feel yourself forcing them, don't force them. A little creep, a little time, a little neural inhibition is going to help you kind of get them in that spot. Okay. Let's have you guys try this on each other. For about, let's go about five Where minutes of it. Here. Just like do a couple. Right of, the, you know, right 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 Looks like you just got to cradle the lungs on that side. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. So, yeah. 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 